side view, you'll notice that the front grill is slightly rounded. The bumper curves in a bit more. That, that was one of the learnings that we integrated in our 2016 model, is the fact that with the trailer that is as aerodynamic as the super truck trailer, you don't want to manage the airflow the same way you do with the current truck. You want to manage the air around the tractor, not underneath it. So there were things that we originally thought we would investigate a super truck, which turned out to add no value. For example, having body panels underneath the tractor provided no benefit because the way the airflow is managed on the track like this. Once we had the cab, we had the aerodynamic trailer, we noticed that okay, air drag has gone down 40%, and that had uh, big consequences to how the powertrain should be designed uh, in order to be optimal here. Uh, we saw that the amount of power to keep the truck moving down the road had gone down uh, to two thirds of what the baseline truck would need to go down the same road. So that meant our baseline D13 engine was now gonna be, uh, well, not getting enough of a workup to be its most efficient if we put it directly in here. So we set off to try to find the best compromise between fuel efficiency and performance, and we settled for the 11 engine, which seemed to be the right thing for this. Uh, <coughs> I don't like to call this downsizing because some people find this a negative connotation, but this is really about right sizing the powertrain. It's about picking the size of the engine that's just right for this truck.